We have an e-bike from Ad Motors and a trailer. We're going to do an unboxing. We're going to put it together and then we're going to kit it out because the next video after this, I'm pedaling or bike packing 77 miles on the Greenbrier Trail. I've got to put this thing together, then put bags or my quilts, food and stuff like that. So stay tuned. This is going to be a cool video. So the first thing you want to do is add motor works really hard on making sure their boxes and their packaging it, you can stand on and you can beat on. So when you first receive your add motor e-bike or trailer, take an inspection of it, make sure there's no damage to the box or anything like that. If they, if you do, they have 24 hour service. They are a great company for customer service. They've been around since 2011 and just their customer service is absolutely amazing. But let's open this up and take a look at it. So my first impressions, once we've gotten everything taken off, this bad boy is beefy. When it says, this is the all-terrain M560, it's really built for off-trail, for dirt, sand, for the beach, snow, for off-trail. You can obviously do this on-trail, like pavement or anything else, but it really shines with the beefier aluminum alloy frame. A lot of the bikers that do the aluminum, like the aircraft aluminum, frames like this it's just sturdier when you're beating on tough terrain and stuff like that it's got aluminum handlebars shimano gears what i've noticed so far is this is impressive it's just beefy and strong and they there's a lot of them out there in the internet and on amazon but for this price point and i'll put the price right here I mean, you're getting a lot i mean this thing is the the leather grips the frame the softer seat this is a, a very comfortable seat the pedal the welds the battery even these these are not plastic this that's aluminum i'm just what i've seen so far i am really impressed they have put some money in this and for the price point it's something that i would be extremely interested in so let's put this thing together beautiful bike I'm really impressed it's beefy the I think that's half inch bar back there you can actually put I think it's 55 pounds you can put a small child back there on the back just everything that's not cheaply made at all the handle grips are flat where you can rest your palms rather than having a hold so it doesn't hurt your wrist let's look at some of the electronics let's plug in the cord they have this unplugged so during shipping it doesn't turn anything on got a plug this in just right it's got this little knot that lines up with it 
and it slides right on in just like that and here's your key to unlock your battery it's important to have a pair of these there's a bunch of wire ties everywhere all right let's turn this thing on battery just push this button right here and it shows you four bars your key lock in just like that and then you'll be able to pull this right on out you pull it out sideways and you lock this in and this bar right here i don't know if you can see it but you open this up the bar goes up inside there so i lock this bad boy in put this up and it, it can't go nowhere now with a five inch LCD screen, push this button right here. And we are set. It shows your wattage, your miles, and your miles that you've gone. This is your miles per hour. This is how many miles you've gone. And then this is your battery from full to empty. This here gives you your pedal assist. Pedal assist one is just very light. Two is a little bit more. Three is pretty heavy. Four is really fast, and five is crazy fast. I mean, I think top speed on this is right at 25. I mean, imagine I'm six foot, 200 pounds. It varies between people. Realistically, probably two would, is what I'm probably going to look at doing for that 77 mile trip. So I lift this up, and right down here at the bottom, you have a USB so you can charge your your phone or anything like that. Here's your other key on the back here. To adjust your seat height, there's a lever right here. You pull this back and this will lift straight up. If it gets loose on you, there's right here, you can tighten it. Little nut here, you can lock this down. See it, I locked it down and you could fit it. Let's pull this back up and let's tighten this bad boy up. I'm gonna tighten that up a little bit more. So you lift this up. You tighten that down and that'll hold it. To adjust your seat height, the best way to do that is get a hardback book and put it between your legs and lean up against a wall or something where you can mark. And where the book ends uh, between your legs, mark that spot and then measure from the ground to the top of the book where your legs were. And where you want to measure is from here to the top and that will give you your seat height because you don't want to pedal where your legs don't completely extend you can injure yourself now that we have the bike put together let's go in and put the trailer together when you receive the trailer and get it out of the box it's pretty much put all together platforms put together you just got to build your walls put your wheels on and then put the handle on and it's, it looks like it's already pre-greased we'll just stick this on inside here as you can you can wiggle it around once you get it in there and grab the little clip there we go perfect grab this make sure that this is facing towards the inside of the body there we go Now that you've got the wheels on and pulley, let's open this thing up. These have holes with these clips. Boom. This one up. There we go. Now we're going to put this there slide it down it comes with these screws that you'll stick right inside here to lock it down there we go 
So this also comes with a dry bag to fit on side here. It definitely has great quality, but if you have like your down pillow cover, down jacket, I would definitely still put it in a dry bag. But the material of this is dry bag material. I just don't know if I would want to trust it with like a sleep system or something like that. But let's put that on and let you take a look at it. It's got Velcro on the inside. Just lock it down, just like that, just like that. Here, and it has a lid that goes over top of it as well. And it's a snug fit, but you would probably you want that. Velcro on the sides here where you can lock the lid down. I'll show you that on the other side. You just take these and you lock it down. This is for the lid, but the lid doesn't come off. But that is it. Man, this thing is awesome. Let's take a walk or look around. Wow, this is really impressive. So I guess the next part is we need to kit out my bike for a 77 mile bike packing trip. Let's bring the bike back in and let's start putting bags on it. Now that we've got the trailer done, now we're gonna kit this thing out. I'm gonna put saddlebags on it, cell phone holder, there's a bag that'll fit here, two water bottle holders, I'm going to put a GPS on the handlebars that'll tell me turn by turn. Let me show you these straps I bought. I bought these straps, super cheap, they replace like duct tape, bungee cords, all kinds of stuff, it's like a basically a little belt. I'll pull it out let you see it. That's like that right there. Put our straps in and locks in. I probably did it backwards, but like that. And it'll lock it in. So I bought a couple of these. They're super cheap on Amazon. All this stuff I have will link in the description below. But if I still need a little bit more room, which I doubt it with the trailer, um, we can put, we can strap stuff right here on the forks. That'll, that could hold, that could hold something as well. First thing, is the saddle bags. Lock these down. This thing is so crazy beefy. But this has clips that you can clip this on and it also has these little clips here that can latch onto here. But this thing is so thick. Let's see if it'll lock down on it or not. Yeah, it'll hold. It's got it. And then Let's strap this thing down. There we go. It's got a place here so you can put stuff across. But got this plus that right there. This is not waterproof, but it does come with a waterproof bag that goes over top of it. So if you do deal with rain, it's water resistant, but it's not waterproof. We'll do the other side. All right, the next piece we got a bag that's going to go right here and i bought this from amazon it's mammoth empire and because the backbone is so thick i went to michael's you could probably get this on amazon walmart it's just it's velcro it's like a male and female end and i've, got, I've just put four extra pieces to strap over top of it there we go and then we'll strap the back side. Now I'm not going to strap this, this here to there because it won't fit. But with this battery comes out sideways, and this will this will never affect it. But yeah, I mean this is pretty cool. I got two pockets on the out over here. I got a bottle holder, uh, maybe a cell phone holder. I got 
where we can put snacks. This will probably be where all my snacks and food will go. I like it. It's not super big. Pretty sure that'll hold. I don't see why not. The next thing is the handlebars. Putting in some water bottles, GPS, and our cell phone mount. The first thing I want to mount is our GPS. This is hammerhead. It mounts right on the handlebar. You can download your trail on this. It'll tell you elevation, what mountains you're about to see turn by turn. You can download your tire trip on this and it's really nice. You can put this download it right into your from your computer there's different programs i think i've got ride with gps that's the one i use and i'm not the smartest at all this stuff just yet i've never done any of this stuff before but that's going to go right here by the L led stick it right in here and that'll be where i can be able to see it all right that's mounted the next thing are these two cup holders and what's cool about this is none of this stuff is expensive. I paid 10 bucks for these. The center bag, $24, 40 bucks for the saddle bags. None of this stuff's super expensive. This will hold my water. Got a place where you can store stuff right here. And they come with Nalgene bottles, which you can put water bottles or whatever you want in there. It locks itself down. Now we got two bottle holders, our GPS. I'm gonna put my cell phone holder and like your wallet and your keys and all the stuff. We're gonna put it right here. I love it. The only thing left now is we need to hook up the trailer to the back of it just so we'll know how to do it. So I pulled this off the trailer. It's on the end and I'm just going to mount it right here. And this will be the quick disconnect. There we go. Come on. Just like that. I never want to take the trailer and snap it on and off from right here. This is a strap. So if anything ever bad happens, this is just an extra safety precaution. Around here. So freaking close. There we go. Got him. All right. Oh yeah, I need my helmet. I'll be right back. All right. I live kind of deep in the in the woods, so a block for me is about seven miles. So we're gonna take this on a seven mile trip. That should give us a pretty good idea of what, how this will feel. All right, let's ride.
Well, I think I'm done. We've got the bike built, the trailer built. That was fun. This is gonna be fun. The next thing is we've got a 77 mile bike packing trip up in West Virginia. I appreciate y'all watching. If y'all wouldn't mind liking, sharing, and if you have any comments, all the stuff that we've done on this episode, all the pieces, the parts, and everything, everything that I've used and that you've seen on the video, I'll put in the description below if any of that stuff interests you. I will talk to y'all next time. Everything is gonna be all